Hello and welcome to today's video. In today's video I want to give you five tips for keeping your Unity project organized and on track. So tip number one, plan it out. Before you dive into creating scripts left, right and center and figuring out their relationships on the fly, just take a moment and start planning them out. Pen and paper is of course good for this, but I really like using software such as Milano for planning my projects. I first came across Milano after seeing them sponsor a Ponty Pants video, and it's been game changing for me keeping organized and on track since. It's completely free to use with some limits in place, though cheap enough if you do want to upgrade. Here's an example of how I've arranged some cards to help visualize the flow of a production and conveyor belt system for a project I'm working on. You can see there's a great flow to it and it really sits well with how I like to work. Up at the top here as well, I've also planned out some scripts that I need to implement and I've placed in some sample code that I can copy and paste over to my scripts in Unity once I'm ready. If you'd like to check out Milano, you can do so for free using the link in the description. Tip number two, folder organization. With every new project I start in Unity, I like to organize my folders in the following way. I create a base level project folder, and then to this I create an editor folder for my editor scripts, a runtime folder for my scripts, prefabs, materials, and just anything that I will need at runtime, and an external folder for any plugins that I may use. This would be how I then arrange my assembly definitions to speed up compile times, especially on larger projects. Tip number three, namespaces. Since I started using Rider, every time I create a script, you can see here that I get a yellow squiggle under a class name. If I hit Alt and Enter, you can see that it wants me to put my class in a namespace. And Rider will suggest a namespace that matches the folder structure where that script is located. For smaller projects, it might not seem worth your time to make namespaces, but for any medium to large projects, I would definitely recommend it. Some quick benefits of namespaces is that they allow you to have classes with the same name in the same project. Say for example, you've got a grid class which is responsible for organizing buildings in a grid when you place them in the world as part of your building system. But then you also want a grid class that is responsible for creating a procedural grid based world. You could of course have building grid and world generation grid classes, but if you already have a lot of other classes associated with your world generation, you could just put all of your world gen code inside a world gen namespace and then you could just name it grid. You could then put your building mechanics in a building namespace and just call that class grid too. This then prevents really long class names such as world generation grid. Another added benefit is that they make you aware of which scripts are referencing what at a glance. If you go to the top of your script, you can see at a glance, for example, that this script is in some way tied to the inventory system as it's implementing that namespace. Tip number four, default presets to assets. Say you have a UI folder, which is where you're storing your UI images and they all need to be flagged as sprite and UI. But then you add an image to Unity, it imports it as default, which is used for textures. And then you've got to come to the drop down and swap it over to sprite. However, you can define presets for assets on a folder by folder basis, which mean that any asset that is then dropped into that folder will conform to the defaults you've set. So for example here, you can make a preset for your UI sprites folder and not have to worry about changing every individual asset. This is something that isn't built into Unity by default, but should be, in my opinion. However, they do give you a handy script you can implement into your project to allow this. A link to this script is in the description. Tip number five, don't be scared of reusing assets and code. Why write a character controller for every new project when you could use one of Unity's starter assets, or even code from an old project of yours? There's tons of character control assets already on the asset store, both free and paid, and they cover a wide range of use cases. So take a look on the asset store for something first before you spend a while creating your own thing, as someone may have already done all the hard work for you. Better yet, if you've written an awesome bit of code in a previous project and you've kept it modular, rip that bad boy out of your old project and stick it in your new one. One of the reasons I spent a while getting my head around how to create an inventory system, for example, is that I now have that in an easy to use format and I can take this and implement it into any future project. So there you have it. They are my five tips for staying organized and on track with Unity. If you've got any tips of your own, I would love to hear them in the comments below. And if you've got this far and you're not subscribed, I'm afraid this information was not free and the cost is one press of that subscribe button. And if you are subscribed, a cheeky like wouldn't go unappreciated. Thanks for watching and until next time, bye.